thank you for taking time to watch this video today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about pallets. Just about every plot and every plot holder uses pallets, whether they're making compost bins or fences. And today, I'm going to show you where you can get pallets, the best types to get, the ones to definitely avoid, and then we'll take a walk around this allotment site and look at one or two of the creative ways that other plot holders have used pallets. I'm Gang Gang. Welcome to the channel, Gang Gang and Peanut. Two peas in a pod. Now, in the UK, there are approximately 250 million pallets in circulation, just in the UK. And it's estimated that worldwide, there are five billion pallets in circulation at any one point and an additional 40 million pallets come into that number as new pallets every single year. That's more than enough to build a compost bin. Also, that means there should be plenty of pallets out there for you to find. So where do you go and look for pallets if you need them? Well, you can look on that well-known online platform that involves books and faces look on the marketplace element if you type in there free pallets there are always free pallets available you may go to a local transport company and they should have pallets and they'll probably be quite happy for you to take them away or if there's any building going on uh, near where you live a lot of the building uh, suppliers and equipment come on pallets and the pallets will probably end up going into a skip so you're getting a free resource and you're helping the recycling. So there are a few places where I would be looking for pallets if I was looking for them. Now, not all pallets are the same size. I've worked in the logistics industry for more than 40 years and I see pallets day in, day out, and there are different sizes of pallets for different uses. Now, the standard size of a pallet in the industries is 40 by 48 or a Euro pallet. Now, these are the two standard types of pallet and they are made to this size because they're designed to fit into shipping containers where the goods that sit on the pallets get shipped all over the world. So you'll also find that there are some odd sizes of pallets or specialist sizes. Some pallets are quite long, some are quite narrow. Uh, you'll also find something that's called a pallet collar and these make excellent raised beds and pallet collars are used primarily in the automotive industry to ship parts about all over the world. So there are plenty of different sizes to choose from. So the best pallets are the ones that are unbroken, preferably. The ones that are not stained with oil or paint. Uh, and you want the ones that are heat treated or they have a marking on them HT and heat treating is the way that the pallets are fumigated to kill any disease and pests and funguses that may be in the wood. There are also some you need to avoid. Now the pallets you will be needing to avoid are any that should have a marking MB upon them. This is methyl bromide and this is used again like the heat treated pallets it's used to kill off any fungus and disease in the wood. However, methyl bromide in the UK has not been used since the mid 2000s, 2005, I think. However, there are still some pallets in circulation that have been treated with the methyl bromide and will carry a mark in MB. You definitely don't want to be using these. They're safe for carrying goods, but they're not particularly safe around foodstuffs. And let's face it, that's what we're all growing in our allotments. Now, another type of pallet you should be avoiding are pallets that are the property of the Commonwealth Handling Equipment Pool, CHEP, CHEP, or blue pallets, as you may know them as. Now, these pallets belong to CHEP. Uh, CHEP is a company that um, they hire out pallets to larger users such as transport companies and large food retailers and they remain the property of CHEP. So if you have them, you could in fact be committing 
a crime. However, if you don't say anything, I won't say anything. So, I hope that has given you some information about pallets, the different sizes, the different types, the ones that you should use and the ones to avoid. So let's go and have a wander around this allotment site and see some of these pallets and what they've been used for. Let's go. Now on my own plot, I've actually made a fence out of pallets and as you can see they're not a standard 40-48 size they are an unusual out size uh, and I made this by popping in some of these here posts and fixing these pallets to the posts and it's been in for a couple of years and it really seems to be doing the job. So now this shed is my allotment neighbour and uh, the frame of this shed was made entirely from pallets so you can make big projects or smaller projects. Also my allotment neighbour as you can see he's also made a fence from pallets with some mesh along the top however he has used the naughty pallets but I've got to say the fence is very sturdy. Built a compost heap again using pallets and as you can see it's quite a large size and he's using outsize or specialist size pallets as you can see they're quite big so they're not the standard 4048 just one more thing that can be built using pallets now one of our favorite things that i've seen made with pallets is this table and chairs that an allotment neighbors made very creative all it needs is a couple of cold beers and a cheese sandwich brilliant So just a little walk around the uh, allotment site, just to look at one or two things that plot holders have made from pallets. Now I hope that watching this video has enlightened you a little bit as to what you can do with the pallets. Now I know that currently it's quite popular to make things not just for the allotment, but also home furnishings such as beds and tables, etc. So the humble pallet, isn't a humble after all, is it? Now, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up or subscribe by clicking down below. I'm Gang Gang, this is Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod, and as ever, until next time, take care, bye.